So what other insights you learned along the way with uh, growth that uh, have surprised you? Um, and what, what surprised you over the last, I suppose, 12 months to two years? The, the, I mean, maybe I should not say this because I'm a growth consultant, but is that I don't believe in, in, in what we call growth because I think that everything should be growth. We're doing something to grow, to do better. Uh, we grow, kids grow. Now I'm seeing, you know, like with my baby, um and um I, I was writing it on my news that it was really hilarious i was like with my baby i was still i'm still experimenting and learning because i'm a first-time father but obviously uh there is more at risk now right so i have to be careful about the experimentation and not the <laughs> frame. Uh, and, and that's what i really realized that growth became this buzzword um and we will see very soon that we won't have sales department or marketing departments everything's going to be growth because right now, as you've seen the movement, product-led growth, sales-led growth, uh, everything's is growth-led something or whatever. Um, so what I've really realized is that at the end of the day, uh, what we're all trying to do is it's growing a company or growing ourselves or growing whatever we're doing. But if we focus on revenue, and this is where I saw the great CEOs or the bad CEOs differences, is the great CEO doesn't focus on revenue. Right. The bad CEO does focus on revenue and their only goal will be revenue uh, and they won't grow. And this is what I realized. Um, the great CEOs that I have seen that I had the chance to consult and advise and help and learn from actually a lot yep. is the ones who actually are obsessed with the problem uh, that they're trying to solve. Um, and, and they don't think about the money. The money comes. The money comes if you're solving something. Right. If you're solving a real problem, uh, that does come. Yeah. So I think that now lately, especially in the last couple of years, um, I'm really starting to also be obsessed about this, about what is the problem that we're solving? What is the solution that we're bringing to, the, to that? Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. It's um, if you think about, you know, the likes of Uber that tried mm -hmm. to solve a right? Actually, Uber adds a lot of value because it solves so many problems like um, they sh basically show up when they say they're going to show up. Um, it makes payment easy. That was a problem too, stumbling with your credit card. So the value they add that fixed the problem of the taxi industry, which was just, you know, had been basically like a protected species for uh, in many countries. <laughs> yeah. um, and now long, no longer they were, and then everyone's screaming that Uber is breaking all the rules. But sometimes the only way to make things happen is to break rules. And these are man-made rules, right? These are rules of government, rules of men and yeah, women. Exactly.